What's up guys, Miguel here with another uh, DeWalt video. This is uh, an update for my DeWalt tool collection. I just bought the 12 volt tools from Lowe's and have added some other stuff over here since the last video, I think it was last year. <clears throat> so what I have over here are like clamps, bit sets, uh, the DeWalt storage containers for miscellaneous stuff. Over here we have some quarter inch stuff. Um, this one is just a DeWalt toolbox. I have miscellaneous stuff in there, masks, uh, moisture meter, extra charger. Um, some of the hand tools go in there. Uh, DeWalt toolbox for some of my electrical things. Cool thing about this toolbox is there's a release and it breaks into two pieces. Bottom is empty. I don't know what to put in there yet because most of the time I'm using uh, DeWalt tool bags. <clears throat> I like these things because they can stack together and then they go with the uh, tough case. I get them at Lowe's. Got a DeWalt laser, DeWalt stud finder, um, right angle bit attachment. This thing will save your life when you need it the most. We've only used it one time, but if it wasn't there, we wouldn't have been able to finish the job. Extra gloves. These DeWalt gloves, really don't like them. Extra blade, just in case the one in my pouch breaks. Demolition screwdrivers, and then just miscellaneous hand tools. Since the last video, I've also picked up the DeWalt drywall set. I've got the DeWalt pan, DeWalt scrapers have the DeWalt 1000 watt power inverter that's the DXAEPI 1000 I have a YouTube video for that one I use it for when I don't have power and I need to paint something with my small paint sprayer I also have the smaller uh, power inverter DeWalt stapler. I have a corded one, but since uh, since then I've upgraded to a Milwaukee M12 electric stapler. Was wanting to get the uh, seven and a quarter inch miter saw. Is it a seven and a quarter inch? I think it's a seven and a quarter inch miter saw. This is the. Where's your model number? This is the one that actually slides. Sliding miter saw. I need it for small jobs and stuff. I use a <clears throat> eight amp, uh, six amp hour battery <clears throat> for the saw. So from the looks of things, I'm gonna need more batteries. Um, I have two four amps, a five amp, two two amps. I just gave a two amp hour battery away, or maybe three of them, and then I have two six amp hour batteries. I have two saws, one with the uh, one with a lot of blades and then one that's just for ripping. I have the, what do you call this? The Bluetooth speaker. It also charges your phone while you're listening. I put a six amp hour battery on there and um, it plays all day. I also have the DeWalt USB portable charger. I don't like this too much because it's very slow. <clears throat> Flashlight. <clears throat> I just picked up this heat gun. I have This is the DCD777 brushless drill. This one is the DCD708. This one is the atomic subcompact drill. DCD996. It's my concrete hammer drill uh, for when I'm doing stuff on the roof. And then this one is my favorite drill out of everyone. This is the DCD, uh, DCF887. Um, this one has been used and abused for many, many years. And I was thinking of upgrading it or replacing it with a new one. But <clears throat> it hasn't given up on me. I have the old 20-volt grinder. This is the DCG412. I think I have a YouTube video on this one also. I wanted to get the brushless one or the newer one, uh, but again, that one hasn't given up on me yet either. 
Sawzall picked up the planer DC P580. I've used this one time. Um, not really a carpenter, but when you actually really need a planer, it's nice to have one. I had the Craftsman plug-in one, and I figured it was time to get the DeWalt cordless planer. Also have nailers. I have the 18 gauge nailer, a uh, 15 gauge nailer, and a framing nailer. I think the last time I made the video I had this, but didn't actually get to use it. Um, since the last video I have built a 16 by 20 wall with this with this nailer and this thing is amazing. I got the 12 volt DeWalt tools from Lowe's, hammer drill from OfferUp. <clears throat> These ones are on special right now. You buy the kit, you get a free battery. You buy this tool, you get a free battery. So that was pretty cool. DeWalt planer, DeWalt holster, a couple more DeWalt bags. This one is the corded cordless vacuum. Um, I think it's like 18, 20, and uh, yeah, it's 18 and 20 volt. And you can also plug it in which is really really amazing got the DeWalt vacuum shop vac from Costco very nice vacuum very um, very nice wheels on this thing this this thing just spins very smoothly I just wish they made made it with a longer hose and a longer cord and then finally um, for for my gardening stuff I have the DeWalt blower it's great for cleaning I can clean like thousands of square feet of roof on a 6 amp battery without having to charge. I have this DC HT820 hedge trimmer and uh, that I, I love that thing too. I had, I had a plug-in hedge trimmer but you know why use a plug-in when you could buy a cordless. I have the 12 inch chainsaw brushless this thing is pretty cool too. I've used it like maybe three times. Got a buddy of mine saying I don't need a chainsaw, which is probably true. Probably don't need a lot of these things, but they're there. This is the DCS 620. This thing is really, really good with a 6 amp hour battery. And then this pole saw was very, very useful. I got a HOA letter. I needed to cut my palm tree and uh, I was not going to... I was not about to pay someone to cut the palm tree for me, so I bought this at Home Depot. Actually, I think I got this one for my birthday uh, last year. <clears throat> and that pretty much is my DeWalt tool collection. Sorry for the long video. I feel like there's a lot of tools over here, but I think I need a couple more. Um, SDS hammer, rotary hammer. And uh, a couple more of the 12 volt tools I'm looking for is a folding reciprocating saw and the inspection camera. But other than those three things, I think this DeWalt collection is just about complete.